In this lesson, we'll be going over G02 and G03. G02 is your clockwise interpolation motion, and G03 is your counterclockwise interpolation motion. Fancy words for arcs. G02 and G03, they're both modal commands, and they both fall under the same group as G00 and G01. Um, I'll be going over a couple of examples in this video on how to use G02 and G03. Um, the first example, uh, we have this arc. The start point is here at uh, x location of 1 and y location of 1.25. And the end of the arc ends here at an x location of 0.75 and a y of 1. And we have a radius of 0.25. So uh, we've gone over G02. And before we start with the G02, you need to make sure that your tool is at the start location. Um, you can't be out here, you can't be up here, you can't be over here. You have to be at the start location of your arc. And then we have the x and the y value. The x and the y value is where the tool is going to be ending up after uh, does the arc. So as you can see, we have an x of 0.75 and a y of 1. And then uh, we have r, which is the radius. That's one way uh, you can do a G02. Uh, the other way is the, um, the IJK method. I represents X, J represents Y, and K represents C. Um, with the IJK method, you can actually do circles with the G02 uh, and the G03. Uh, if you do the R method right here, you can't do a, a full circle. So, uh, same rules apply. You have to start at your, uh, you, have, you have to be right here at the start location of the arc. And the x and the y value, same thing, um, is your uh, end location of 0.75 and 1. And how do you determine whether you're going to be using an i, a j, or a k? Uh, well, um, the measurement is uh, the start point to the center point of your arc. So. Here is the center point of my arc, and this is the x line, so that would equal i. And here is your y, and that would equal uh, j. Uh, and all we care about is from the start point to the center point of the arc. So we'll be using um, the i. So no need to worry about j right now. And from here to here is minus 0.25. Plug it in. It's an incremental measurement. And here we have a G03. Uh, we'll be starting here and ending here. Uh, our radius this time is a uh, half inch, 0.5. Um, same rules as last time. You have to start here. Uh, your X and your Y location is where the tool is going to end up. And uh, we have R, and you just plug in the half inch radius. Easy. And then back to the IJK method. Uh, same rules. Start. You have to start at the start point, and your X and your Y value are the end point. And we have the J, which is a Y. That means we're making an incremental move from our start point to the center point of the arc. So here's our J, and here's our, uh, our I. And start point to the center, that's all we care about. And that is minus 0.5. Remember, it's an incremental uh, dimension. To help us exercise G2 and G3, we'll be doing a uh, basic contour of a simple shape. Uh, we'll be uh, starting here. This is x0, y0. Uh, we'll be moving to here and working our way around the contour using G2s and G3s. Uh, We'll be dimensioning uh, with absolute dimensioning. Um, when you're making a program uh, by hand, uh, it's always nice to label your start points and your end points uh, for when you're using your G2s and G3s. So uh, we'll be calling point number one right here, and that's uh, x of one and y of one. Uh, point number two, will be right here, 
That'll be the start of our first uh, G3. We'll be using G3 right here, so we need our start point. Uh, so that'll be, uh, we have a radius of 250 thou, and from here to here, it's three inches, so our X value will be 2.75. And then our y value is still 1. Uh, point number 3 is our end point of this radius. And that will give us an x of 3 all the way over. And our y value is uh, with the radius of uh, 250 thou is now uh, 1 inch and 250 thou. And uh, we have our next point, which is right here at the start of this radius, uh, with the radius of 0.5. So from here to the top of the piece is 4 inches. So the radius of 0.5 there, I'd make this point right here uh, a y of 3. I make that a little bit. And then our x is also still 3. Uh, our next point is the end point of this radius, which is right up here. Um, our x is still 3. And our y is from, is all the way at the top, so it would be 4. The next point is the start of this radius right over here. So we need the start point, which would be 1.25 for the x, and our y is still up here at the top, so 4. And then our last point is the end, is the end point of this radius, uh, put our x at 1, and our y value at 3.75. These uh, start points and end points will uh, really help us when it comes to making our program. All right, so I made a very uh, easy program to follow using G00, G01, G02, and G03. Uh, using the points that we uh, called out here, and this will be the contour that we're using. Uh, the program here, uh, we're just going to pretend that I already called up the tool, I already turned on the spindle, spindle speed, you know, everything's already there. We're just using G00 to G03. Uh, we're in absolute dimensioning. Uh, Z0 will be the top of the part, and that's, we'll go from there. So uh, we had G00, your rapid movement, to an X1, Y1, and Z of 0.1. Uh, this marker will be my tool. So we're out here uh, going over to an X1, Y1, and Z0.1, leaving us uh, 100 thou above the part. Uh, we go to G01, which is our controlled straight line movement, taking us out of G00. Uh, we'll be moving in the Z direction, negative 20 thou at a feed rate of 10 inches per minute. So now we are actually into our workpiece. Uh, going to G01 again. Now remember these uh, G codes right here, they're all modal, meaning you have to call up a different g-code to get out of the g-code you're currently in. Uh, but for this scenario, I'm calling up every g-code, whether I'm using the same g-code twice in a row, just to make it easier for you to follow along with what I'm doing. So uh, we're at g01. We need to move over to an x of 2.75 and a y of 1. Uh, we're already at a y of 1, so we don't have to move in the y direction at all. And we're going to an x of 2.75, which is our first start point. Uh, then we call up our G03. For this G03, we're using the IJK method. Uh, we call our X and we call out our, uh, our Y. And then for this scenario, we'll be using the J, which is your Y. Uh, so we're here, X of 3, Y 1.25, and your J, 0.25, which is the incremental measurement, putting us right here. Uh, so. Kicking us out of G03 is the G01, which is bringing us up to X3, Y3. And we're already at X3, so we're not moving anywhere there, but we're moving up to Y3, which is this start point. Uh, then we're calling up your G02, 
with an x of 3, y of 4, and then we'll be using the R method for this one with a, a 0.5, which is your half inch radius. So, bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Uh, then we'll be going to G01 uh, with an x of 1.25 and a y of 4, bringing us to right here, calling up a G03, using the R method for this one again. Uh, we have an x of 1 and a y of 3.75 and a radius of 0.25. It's not going here to here. And back to G01, bringing us back to the end, completing the uh, contour. x of 1, y of 1. And doing G00, Z of one inch, bring the tool back out. So started here, went down, G03, G02, G03, and back to here. Pretty simple. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out in understanding G02 and G03. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day.